beautiful statements and just so interesting in traits. So thank you for that. Can I ask the two of you just to do a quick lap together and then we'll give you a warm round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for Lou Brunman, Sid Illusion. So my name is Luke Rudman. I am a performance artist um, from Port Elizabeth, South Africa. Um, I've always been very into art. Um, I used to do a lot of painting and drawing, like traditional type of art, but for the last year and a half, I've been into body art or performance art. Um, and it's kind of taken over my life. Like I think I've done almost 170 pieces in the last year or year and a half. Um, it's been a really great experience. Both of my parents were very artsy people um, and I'd always appreciated art but I really found like a passion for it when I was about 14 or 15 when I started high school. Um, but in terms of my body art, I, I think I found it at age 17, um, in October of 2017. And um, since then, like when I started it kind of, it, it, everything clicked. It, 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 I had such a passion for it. I think in my first month I created probably like 20 pieces, which, which is crazy. But um, yeah, and, and over time, like it started off as, as, as just body painting, but over time I, I developed like my headpiece styles and I developed the full body pieces and I've developed the conceptual side of my work, which is the, the social commentary side as well, which is one of my favorite parts of what I do. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm just looking forward to seeing how, how it continues to evolve. When did you know you were going to like start doing body arts? Um, I didn't like, there was no moment that I knew, um, kind of just like evolved into this. Okay. Because I used to do a lot of normal, like traditional art. And then, um, like I started body art once, kind of, I actually started by accident. Um, I started because I, I was like uh, painting with, like physically painting with makeup, like to experiment with different paints and stuff. And then the one day I, I realized I had all the makeup, so I started just kind of using it and like painting on myself. Um, and then over time it like evolved into this. But when I started, it wasn't exactly what I'm doing now. Yeah. Like the, the head pieces came later and like, it's kind of like it's grown as time has gone on.
So yesterday was a show, an event that I worked at at the Little Theatre at the Athenium and I created two pieces, uh, one that I wore and one that I had a mo uh, model wear. So actually the idea for the piece that I wore is, is like a, an exaggeration of my signature piece, which is the, the piece, the two-faced piece. And that, that piece for me is, is really symbolic and it's really sentimental because it was the, the first piece that got a lot of exposure. It was the piece that was used in my first newspaper interview. And so it's very special to me. Um, but that piece that I wore last night was like the, the full realization of that look. It was the, the, uh, the, the full body version of, of the two-faced look that is kind of like now my signature piece. And the, the creation process for that piece, it was, it was, it was that piece took a long time to make. It, it was probably about two, two to three days of, of full working on just the costume. And then makeup took about two, two and a half hours. Um, but altogether it adds up, it's, it's quite a lot of time for me to spend on a piece. And then the second piece that I created, the one that Gretel, the model, wore, um, I made a dress out of plastic that I'd collected from my, my suburb, like plastic pollution. Um, and I made this, this very traditional, almost like prom matric uh, farewell dress for Gretel to wear. And then I, I painted her as this like incredibly beautiful, like alien, like plastic monster wearing this, this dress that's made out of plastic. And, and I wanted the look altogether to, to reflect traditional beauty in a new way, but then also tying in these really ugly aspects of like the plastic pollution problem. And, and I found that that's very effective. If you're trying to send a message, beauty is such a powerful tool to draw people in and engage with a message that they would normally not engage with. And so talk us through Gretel's look. So Gretel's look, um it plays on one of the major themes in my artwork at the moment, and that is the plastic pollution crisis. Um, and it's, um, and I think what's important is we've become so desensitized to these plastic campaigns. We see them so often, um, and they've almost all turned into the same thing, and we don't realize that we're seeing them sometimes. And so what I wanted to do was to show that crisis in a novel way, and, and maybe make us notice it a bit more, because the waste we produce is really the waste we carry. And, yeah, so that, that's what this piece of was. It's a beautiful statement and just so interestingly portrayed, so thank you for that. Can I ask the two of you just to do a quick lap together and then we'll give you a warm round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for Luke Reinberg, Suit Illusion. <laughs> I think the, the response that Gretel got last night really, really um, firstly reaffirms the, the, and motivates me that there is public awareness about the plastic pollution problem, but it also, it also shows that maybe the, the secret to, to, to social commentary is presenting your idea in a novel way. Um, and, and Gretel's piece, the, the time it took to make that piece was also about two days of, of, of making the actual dress. Um, and then obviously about a week before that of collecting the plastic from my area and then the makeup as well, probably about two to three hours of, of makeup. So how can people get to you if they would like to know more about your work? So my, my main platform um, is my Instagram. Um, I've, I've been posting on there for as long as I can remember my art. Like since I started, I think since I was like 14 or 15. But I've only been posting my body art since 2017. Um, and there's about 170 of my pieces on there. My Instagram is, is uh, Sudillusion and that's my main platform. And then um, I'm also um, briefly on YouTube and, and on Facebook as Luke Rudman. Yeah, so any of those platforms. Hi, my name is Luke Rudman, and you're watching me as Sudillusion on Cinema Dish. Cool.
Would you like me to do like another one and then you can choose? Did that work? Was that okay? I'll okay. Hi, my name is Luke Rudman and you're watching me as Pseudillusion on Cinema Dish. Cool. <laughs>